What are my people? And let's talk about this uh, situation of Albert Pujol reacting to his own at bat against Brad Leach. It took our attention because I believe there is a lot of hitters that have this problem, have a big problem with this this kind of situation, and you can learn from this. Check this out. Check how we talk. Yeah, he missed like a, he missed like a, like, like his swing, like, you know what I mean? Like, he don't, he didn't try to manipulate the swing right there. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah. I think the first pitch right there, that set up everything. Wait, stop right there. What do you mean it set up everything? As soon as he threw that pitch, I was like, So I, you knew it. I got him. Okay. I got it. Because in that situation, you know, you need, he's going to go to his best pitch. Yeah, so you see, he swung that pitch, and you, as you can see, he was super early. But he didn't, he didn't freak out. He didn't freak out. He was okay. He threw that pitch. He knew he got it. As you, as you heard him, he knew he got him. He was okay. I'm ready because that was I his Pujol, best pitch. Pujol knew he got him, right? Mm -hmm. And his best pitch, although he was throwing 97, 98, it was that pitch, the slider. So as soon as he threw that pitch, although I swung it, it was in the dirt. I was like, I got you. So if you look at the next pitch, it's like, go ahead. All right, so that looked, if I'm a pitcher, I'm like, man, he did not see that. But you're saying. See how he's reading, chill. Yeah, okay. he, don't, he don't seem like a, oh, 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 oh. Uh -huh. what is wrong with my mechanic? He's not scared. Look, I'm like, right. okay, come ready. on. Next hey, pitch, it was like, I was looking for it because I knew. Boom, he was looking for that pitch you know, that he just hit. So what you learn from this? Don't manipulate your swing. Don't manipulate your manipulate swing. Manipulate his swing. He stay with his craft, with his machine, and then he just get a good pitch. Obviously, he knew that was a. He knew already that was his best pitch, so he miss it. So what? Some people freak out sometimes when you miss a pitch because you thinking it's my mechanic, it's my mechanic, it's my mechanic. It's not just your mechanics. Pitchers got the good stuff too, right? So. And more in the game situation, the last thing you can be like, I freak out. I, I don't know why I'm missing the ball. I don't know why I'm missing. You know what I mean? I use, what? You miss a good pitch. You swing. Wow, good. You're still doing your mechanics things, your your good your good technique, right? A swing like a lead, like a, we're telling you over here. And then what happened? Then next, up, next, uh, next uh, pitch, something around the plate. Boom, same swing. He catch up with it. Well, you see, this is another part that you can learn from this major leagues, the mentor part. Because I know we mess, up, we mess around with dinosaurs, you know, there's a bunch of dinosaurs. But it's the when they they talk about mechanics, you know, down to the ball, that's who, that's who we call dinosaurs. Yeah, but yeah. It's psychology wise, like whenever they talk about approach, approach and stuff like that, they have a lot of great things to talk about. Yeah, they will. It's way different than mechanic. That's a that's when I, I'm I'm like, dude. Sometimes we need that experienced coach in the dugout. You know, like that's when the experience of playing time come play a big role as you are learning. Like, like he said, yes, mechanical. We can watch videos and learn a little bit more and look like them instead of like do whatever they say and as as a mechanic deal. But in a uh, experience, I feel like I can help you in the way that already you got your mechanics. Now you go to the game and the, you need the experience telling you, look, he throwing slider, no, he throwing fastball, he throwing this, uh, uh, chill. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Don't freak out. I don't, fr no. don't freak out. You know things like this, plans in your head that you can put your own transformer together to create this beast as a player, as yourself, like you're trying to be that person, you know? So Pujo got his swing, his way of thinking about mechanics, but then his swing was elite. But the way of he thinking about approaching the play, really good for you to get that information. So when you go to play and perform, you know, manipulating your hands, you're not doing something out of your mechanics and freaking out after you got a great mechanics. Mm -hmm. Don't 
mess up with that. He's not even thinking about adjustability. Oh, let me no, know. adjustability, it can mess up your mechanic. Those people that are trying to hit the ball in the ground and they are throwing, like, throwing the hands out there and they got singles and then, like, it mess up in the long term it will mess up your uh, swing your power swing your your swing that you're supposed to have the consistency because now when you're trying to say okay if i'm a, if i had to get my swing early in the song and long through it with the right sequence but now i'm teaching myself to go get the ball swing through it all that, then, then you mess up the head, the, the strong machine. You never see a strong machine moving everywhere. A strong machine stay there. You just want to be consistent. Okay? So don't manipulate or uh, try to be looking for adjustabilities. Make sure you're looking for something get to you so you can swing. Yep. So you can swing with power and consistency. But for that reason, you have to learn how to low smooth, how to be, uh, uh, how to know stay in the back leg and stuff like that. If you don't know how to do that, obviously you always gonna be manipulating your hands and just ability. If you got kids, they are hitting bomb, uh, hitting not bombs, just hitting like good because the numbers are because they're getting barrel, but then they looking like they are surviving out there and throwing the hands out there and like adjusting everything. In one part is good because the kid is very athletic and hands and eye coordination is good. But in the second part is when the game is start getting harder and harder and your kid don't have a solid mechanic, then you're gonna see the kid crashing mm -hmm. because the pitch is getting better and they know how to pitch to him. And when you're like they're trying to work on manipulating your hands and adjustability too much, faster the game get that adjustability is not gonna play good unless you, I mean, it happened normally when the kid is like super athletic and you don't wanna have that either because even the more, so much athletic kids, when they play the big leagues, they don't they don't make it happen if they don't got a great mechanic. The mechanic is key. Okay, so make sure you focus on your mechanic. If you got a, a day that you were, ah, I hit a low pitch and I went, I throw my knee in the ground and I throw my hands and I get a double, ooh. Make sure you go home and work. You not you're not doing the right thing. You're not staying back. You know you're not getting the right mechanic. That just may be like a ah yeah good game, but that's you know, that's not the goal. Okay. So people, I hope you like this video. Super short. We have to give it to the people with with, with experience, but at the same time, if the if the people with experience mess up their 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 the knowledge they uh -huh. give away or the message they give away, we're gonna call it out too here because. I know we listen to Albert Pujol. Obviously, when we put Albert Pujols in our, in our toenails, yeah, everybody want to watch it. Everybody want to listen to it because we all want to be like Albert Pujol. We all want to be like Aero. We all want to be like Barry Bones. We all want, but we want to be and do like them for sure. So we have to learn and get all what they're saying and things what they do, you know, so then you put your own, uh, your own little uh, avatar. Yes, to get transformer. It right. From former avatar to get it. Boom! Yeah, my people, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. See you on the next video. Woo!